Are we off to see great games like at the oh, yeah, I've got on that. At the Good morning YouTube. It is 4.55 a.m. on a Saturday morning and myself and Mr. Dino are about to head to one of the biggest carport fairs in and around this area right now. Right guys, we're at 7 a.m. Me and the old Dino have just arrived here in York. Let's go and get in the queue. Sweet, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I'll pull him, mate. But, uh, he's decent, mate. That's what I love, that crack. Good job she's not here. SO Unleaded. A new generation of performance fuels. Bits in here. There's some little Disney bits. Oh, I think these are Matty D's toys, I think. Oh. Oh, he's pretty sweet, isn't he? See how much he wants for this peach for the bed? Um, nah, bit too before my oh, time, so that one. Alright, isn't he? 1980 and so on. Yeah. 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 Coca-Cola boombox. Yeah. No, my last would kill me if I bought that. Whenever there's fun, there's always Coca-Cola. Can we get a photograph of this, Yeah. How much did you want for your walk with me? Uh, with the tape, 25 quid. Ah. Yeah. And it's... It's working as well, so it's got all the headphones. Oh, with it yeah, everything. so he's still pretty much brand new in his box. Yeah, nice fight, right, Malibu. I played truffle league. Like. Oh, I played that as a kid. How much fun them two's having? Go on, mate. Oh, yes, yeah, I'll do it. Indeed. My used to get the M. Um, was it on a post office oh, one as well? There's like a shop and a post office in that. Lethal Lewa. <laughs> no, no, I don't want. No, I bought them in my life. Not since I had my meat. Oh, I don't know. Like, in the 90s. Oh, that's pretty decent. That's mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm making my machine sets here. Where's the fire truck? Uh, there's one there. And I'm going to be this. Take up so much real estate on my mass out the mall at the air when I was with you. Uh, I had two. Oh, did you? And I bought the whole lot right oh, at the start. Aye. Oh, Mrs. G, I thought Mrs. GRC would have enjoyed that. But I didn't want to play it all the gambling. All I wanted was the case. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's still boxed as well. It's a square wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
piece he is. Lovely. It's not five foot ten iron. Somewhere in the dark and nasty regions where nobody goes stands an ancient castle. Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Hello! Overworked servant of the thing upstairs. Burke, feed me! But that's nothing compared to the horrors that lurk beneath the trap door. For there is always something down there, in the dark, waiting to come out. Don't you open that trap door? You're a fool if you dare! Stay away from that trap door! Cause there's something down there. How much a big turtle bun? Uh, 18. Yeah. I'll have a think. Oh, okay. Spot on me, thank you. Yeah, you lose. Thank you. Tracy shelf as well. I've been collecting. Oh, I've been collecting the figures. She cares if I bought that. It's far too big. Sell them all. I mean, I know what they are, but. Ah, you're not. Wow. 
Nice, nice. Because I went the second time, I went to his house the second time as well. Because I went there like on two occasions to play with him. What he's saying, like a lot of the stuff was. Good looks in there. Seventy, uh, maybe seventy years, seventy-seven. It comes with a buggy. Seventy-seven, right? Uh, if, it, if it was in a better, better condition, me. Yeah. Don't get us wrong, me. I know how old she is, so. Yeah, we have to see greater games like it though. Oh, yeah, I've got them that. Get the booty. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it needed it. Uh, uh, American as well. 100. Alright well, guys, welcome back to Chase HQ after the first boot fair. Let's just quickly have a look at what we picked up. So, just to fly through these, this was probably my favourite piece that we picked up which is a plaster mold real Ghostbusters. Everything is still in there, hasn't actually been opened, so that's probably gonna be kept personal. Then we picked up this Chucky Money Box. Again, um, I really like him, so I think he'll probably be kept. Then two of the more obscure items, we picked up the Ewok video. Um, obviously, I don't know if you collected the tokens out of the Dairy Lee, let me know in the comments below. Then we picked up a TMNT card game. As you'll probably seen in the footage, there was also a real Ghostbusters one box was a little bit dinged and if I had to pick one out of the two you know I had already picked up this so it was definitely this then we grabbed I'm pretty sure this is Rhino I think from Mask Um, still missing a few of his accessories um, but not bad then picked up a few figures and a few other little bits so this is GRC he's a big Hercules fan another real Ghostbusters then we got some of these which are actual McDonald's toys which are from Hong Kong dated 1998 then another couple of other little figures couple of little beauty and the beasts a couple of chipping deals which will be nicely on the shelf a davy boy smith the british bulldog and rounding it off of course with a vacant from the real ghostbusters so these are all pickups from the first boot fair all right guys let's fly into the footage for the second one morning all right guys welcome to the northeast coast and of course, let's go out. Let's go and have a little look. Oh, what's that? Looks old school though. Don't know. 2005. Thought I'd take it on, but it's like definitely different. Star Wars things, mate? Um, three pounds. No, brother. Mm -hmm. so I think someone's just taking the last of the actual cuts. No, brother. Oh, no, Mrs. Stay! Mrs. called Jar Jar Binks! Mrs. your humble servant! Thank you, sir. 
system retails for about 150 quid I'm sure he said he wanted a 130 for it but you can see there's the official number to tell you it's an official Lego product no nah, enough of us 130 bags for the NES Lego set I'm not sure even if that's a good deal let me know in the comments below yeah this one's being the pick of the bunch all oh, them gear is bad these are worth one. I think there's one missing. Yeah, there was a double vinyl pack and there's one missing. What was that? I'm not sure. Get a of some of the tunes on there. Yes, lad. Some old school cameras here. Look at that one. Andy from Solid State Vintage would be loving this book. I just don't know anything about old cameras. In my mind. It's more old school vinyl, I've never seen it on the play. I thought, oh there, but it's not in there. What a tune that is. Yes, it has. Loved a bit of Capella as well back in the day. That's what got to dream. Determined to find that Dr. Tepper's one. Guaranteed I'll find it at some point. It might not be this year. But I will definitely find it more. We looked at these last time I was here. So remember the Capella ones being the tune. Did it, 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 did what year was that? 1998. Definitely not a film I'm familiar with. Again, pop in the comments if you've seen that before. I'm not going to collect it like I know it's a 90s cartoon before you see out, and that's what we'll collect on VHS, but not that one. Never mind. How much is your PlayStation bundle? It's, it's 25. 25. Does it I come haven't got the. No cables or pads? No, but it definitely works. I can guarantee it. And you get all them games with it as well. I'm just, just going to turn it around so I can yeah. see the game. It's more VHS, yeah. There's like the old. A big box in it. But, uh, yeah, it is definitely a rental because you can see the number on the side of the vehicles. Yeah, there you go. So you know it's an extra rental. He's literally had that Thundercat for months and still won't discount it. Little BB-8 there on R2D2. He's pretty decent. Not for us, like, but we'll keep moving. Just give me. There's one of the rats on. Yeah, they'll come home with me, like. Oh, really? It's got batteries in. That's it. Yeah, I bought a Sonic one off you with. That's long ago. The total opposite. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, nice. How much is the uh, Tiger handheld? Yeah. Which one? The yeah. tenner. Tenner. Yeah. Not a thing. Not a thing so far. <laughs> Spabs. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit selective on what I pick up now and what I don't. Ah, oh, spot on. Cheers, Chris. I've really got most of these anyways. Really oh, excuse me. It's warm. Oh, 
Thank you, mate. Just me able to scratch. Hit check, it's going to the galaxy double vid, double pack. Oh, the tear brassed off. <laughs> You've never watched that before, I suggest you go up and watch it. That was pretty funny back in the day. Billy Connolly, Evita. <laughs> Quick little tidbit fact. How old Jimmy Neal was in that fella? Yes, he was. She's lying. Alright, not for us here. What's that? Spit the image? Yeah, pretty much. Never mind. Alright, guys, let's go. The box is in a little bit bad condition. He probably would have come home with us. Yeah, never mind. Finally up and running, 50 pence each for these. It should all trade in at clearly more than 50 p just because they're in pretty decent condition. So not bad for £2.50. Kibbin. That's what I can say to you. How much is it here? Here's to my God bless us all. £2. There's some other ones, but not there for us again. Never mind. Yeah. Guys, a couple of more pickups. We've just picked up some Power Rangers VHS for a quid each. Well, you did need to earn three for 250, so not bad. I scanned one of them, I think it might have been this one. I'll show you in a little bit. Sold for eBay. This one's pretty decent on eBay, but yeah, pretty decent pickup. Definitely worth more than a quid each. Happy with those. It's more VHS, yeah. Oh, wow. The original snowman there. Yeah. 25th anniversary of the inside. So dirty inside though. Oh, I don't know. Lady in the tram. Yeah, there's not much there for us. Thought I'd struck all as well after I just found those Power Rangers ones. Never mind. This is coming on with us. How much your ball game, lad? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Do a fiver on him. Introducing Pac-Man, an exciting board game from MB Games. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You control your Pac-Man as it gobbles up marbles and piles up the points. Watch out for the ghosts. You can move it in or out of the maze or back in as long as you... Gobble, gobble, gobble. And the one who gobbles up most wins. Pac-Man from MB Games. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah they're, if you're into your 90s music, there are. It's just one particular one. Who is he? I can't even tell who he is or what he's off. Let's have a look. Two seconds. No idea who he is, like guys, but we picked him up for a, for a quid. Yeah, boom. Oh, she's a nice piece, isn't she? Look at her. I don't know if she would have a date on her, which is incredibly nice looking. Is it? No, no, no date on it. Not what I can see. Oh, mind. Lovely piece, though. Little book? It's a paper. Is it paper that? Yeah, that's on, yeah, it's like a diary in it. How yeah. much is it? 50 pence. Yeah, I'll take that for 50 pence. Here's another one. 1986. Decent in these box, but he would take up a lot of real estate. I've been stuck up on some of them Tommy things. I kind of get rid of them. Never mind. That's what Xbox is. Xbox there. Nice. Check him out. Come on, is he? Little file box. Yes, lad. Nice. Oh, I think we might have to buy him. In fact, I'm 100% going to buy him. How much a little book thing, then? Oh, this is his. Old school Scotty there. Look at the bottom of that. He's pretty decent, any Right guys, I think this could be about us done. Right guys, just before we sign off, let's have a little look see of what we've picked up today. So remember, we paid a fiver for the Pac-Man game. And we bought this little France 98 Filofax. And we picked this up. I don't think I took any footage of it, but it was sound, it's sealed. Nice for the sake of 50 pence. And we bought him. Like I said, when we videoed him, if you know what his name is, Whack them in the comments. Then we paid 50 pence each for our PS2 game. So we got GTA, a Batman Lego, Star Wars Lego, Tony Hawks, another Star Wars Lego. Then we bought the Power Rangers VHS, which earlier on you'll have seen when I popped in the little graphic of how much they sell for. They're pretty valuable. So, all in all, not a bad deal, not a bad haul. Nice. All right, guys, well, that's us done here at the book fair. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. To Jet <laughs> Thank you once again for tuning in to Geordie Retro Chasers. We're going to try and make these videos as often as possible. You know, we did used to do one a week, but it does become a little bit of tiresome, and of course, it is a little bit expensive sometimes. But I just want to say a big thank you from me, Junior GRC, and Mrs. GRC for tuning in once again and hanging out with us while we've been here in the Northeast Sunshine. All right, guys, hopefully, we'll see you next week. From the flip side, take it easy.